हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईसी एकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand introduction to causal LTI system. First, let us understand what is a causal system. A causal system produces an output y of n naught that depends on the present and past input x of n for n less than or equal to n naught and not on future input x of n where n is greater than n naught. So here. you need to remember that a causal system is one whose output will depend upon the present and past values of input and its output will not depend upon the future value of input now for example if we consider an inputs x of minus 3 x of minus 2 x of minus 1 x of 0 x of 1 x of 2 x of 3 and so on If we consider x of one as present input, then the inputs before x of one will be past input, and the inputs after x of one will be future inputs. So the output of causal system will depend upon the present input as well as the past input, but the output will not depend upon the future inputs. So here, x of n naught. is taken as the present input the output of causal system will depend upon n value less than or equal to n not and the output is not depending upon the n value greater than n not the causality is critical in real time systems so which means the causal systems are very important for real time systems where the future data is unavailable so in real time systems we don't have any future data but these real time systems will depend upon the past data and present data now let us understand the impulse response condition for causality a causal lti systems impulse response will satisfy the condition where the response of the system will be equal to 0 for n value less than 0 so this is the condition for causality in impulse response this ensures the system's output depends only on the present and past input so if the response of the system is zero for n value less than zero it will make sure that the output of the system depends only on the present and past input and not on the future inputs so based on this we can reduce the convolution formula for causal system as y of n is equal to summation of k is equal to 0 to infinity h of k x of n minus k so the general formula consists of summation value from minus infinity to infinity since the response of the system is 0 for n less than 0 that's why the summation value is rewritten as k is equal to 0 to infinity Now let us understand convolution properties for causality. If the input x of n is also causal, which means x of n is equal to zero for n less than zero, the convolution simplifies to y of n is equal to summation of k is equal to zero to n h of k x of n minus k. So this will be the convolution formula for causal input. so causal input which means input will be equal to 0 for n less than 0 so for this condition both output and input of causal systems are causal now let us understand the mathematical explanation of convolution so this is the general formula for convolution where in the summation we had k value varying from minus infinity to infinity for causal system it will reduce to the formula which is shown here where summation value will vary from 0 to n so here you need to remember the response of the system will be equal to 0 for n value less than 0 so generally here you need to remember the output of causal system will depend upon the past value as well as present value of the input and it will not depend upon the future value of input to understand causal lti system let us take an example 
Here we need to find the unit step response of causal LTI system with impulse response h of n is equal to a to the power of n where magnitude of a is less than 1. Since in the problem it is given as unit step response x of n will be equal to u of n which is nothing but your unit step response. So u of n will be equal to 1 for n greater than or equal to 0 and it will be 0 for n value less than 0. So we can write the formula y of n is equal to summation of k is equal to 0 to n. So in place of h of n we can write it as a to the power of k and in place of u of n minus k we can write it as 1. That's why the equation reduced to y of n is equal to summation of k is equal to 0 to n a to the power of k. We have a formula summation of n1 to n2 a to the power of n we can write it as a to the power of n1 minus a to the power of n2 plus 1 divided by 1 minus a. So this is very important formula which you need to remember. We are having n1 is equal to 0 and n2 is equal to n and if we use this formula to solve this equation we can write this as a to the power of 0 minus a to the power of n plus 1 divided by 1 minus a. We know a to the power of 0 is 1. So we can write this as 1 minus a to the power of n plus 1 divided by 1 minus a. So we can write the output of the system as 1 minus a to the power of n plus 1 divided by 1 minus a and this will be true for n value greater than or equal to 0. So output of the system will be 0 for n value less than 0. Now let us understand the significance of convolution in convolution systems. Convolution represents how an input signal interacts with the system's impulse response. So convolution will give us an idea how the input signal interacts with the system's impulse response. The causal systems ensure practical implementation in real-time applications. So causal systems are very important for practical implementation of real-time systems where the output of real-time system will depend upon the past and present value of input but it will not depend upon the future value of input. This is about causal LTI systems. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.